Greetings y'all, it's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 17 here at uh, Goldcrest Valley. We're washing our tractor off here and uh, going to take the old baler up to the shop and we're going to upgrade it. I think it's time for an upgrade for this new Holland baler. So that's the plan. And we got to do some baling today. Turn the lights on here. You'll note that the traffic is back on. I decided to go ahead and turn it back on, even though they're not very courteous drivers. We still have to put up with them, so. Alright. Where's the one to the sale point? Here we go. Right in here. Alright. Stop that there. And we're just going to sell this. Got a little bit of money back out of it. Now, we want to buy a new baler. This one right here. There's some other balers in here. We got some ones that do the wrapping and all of that, but uh, that's the one we had. We even got one for the Challenger. There's an old, some of these old massy ones in here that look pretty neat, but uh, we've got new hauling equipment here mostly for the most part. Uh, I want to get the big baler. After all, we are upgrading, so... There it is over there. And we've got some bailing to do today. Whoop. Just a little nick on the front. Not a big deal. It'll buff out, right? We can touch it up with some paint. Alright, let's go do some bailing now. You can see our uh, straw swaths up there a little bit, kind of on the horizon. That's where we're headed. We need some straw bales for the cows. We've got plenty for the pigs, but we need some for the cows. So, And hopefully we don't have too many for the pigs. If so, we'll have to go transport some of them down here. Alright, where do we want to start? That big pile right there kind of looks good. Just go straight down from it. Alright, so we're going to turn on the baler. First we need to unfold it. And now we're going to turn on the baler. And we're going to lower the baler. And turn on our cruise control. We can actually bump that up a little bit. Yeah, I could come back and wind row this up and it'd be quicker to bail, but these uh, combines, these big combines, pretty much space out the, the rows almost like uh, the biggest uh, wind rower does, so we really don't, don't need it. We'll just run down. See, they're coming out of there pretty fast. Yeah, we don't need to wind row this. If we had the big chrome wind rower... From 15, I might do it, but we don't have a big one like that. I wonder why they didn't put that back in here. Of course, you could pick up these straw swaths with the chaff thing then. You can't do that anymore now. We're getting close to the DLC day coming up on November 14th. 
And uh, when we uh, when we fly to South America to go uh, purchase that form, or that form, when we go to South America to purchase that farm, that's what I wanted to say, um, we're going to leave our uh, Goldcrest uh, Valley map here for the uh, farm hands. We're going to leave it in the hands of the other managers uh, that we're going to put in charge. Some of our hired workers, we're going to promote them up to like assistant managers or, you know, managers or something. I don't know, something, some, you know, baloney story like that. But anyway, they're going to watch our farm, work it and stuff. And we're going to go to South America. We're going to purchase that farm and uh, begin operations down there for sugarcane. So, and we'll have some other stuff down there too. I, I can see us doing corn and uh, what other crops do we have? Maybe like a wheat or barley, something like that. I don't, I don't know. We'll have to see what's here. Maybe corn and sunflower. You can't, I don't know. I don't think they really do canola there. I need to do more research on this, but I don't I don't think they do. I think canola is mostly grown in the northern part of the hemisphere. Usually it's like a winter crop. But yeah, sunflower seeds, corn, maybe sugar beets. I don't know. Sugar beets need a uh, need a wetter climate, I think. We can do potatoes. <laughs> we never, we've never really gotten any potatoes on any of our maps. So we could do potatoes. That could be an operation that we get into. But definitely sugar cane. That's going to be the new crop. Still surprised they uh, are going to give us a new crop with a DLC. Usually they save the new crops for the uh, the, the complete new number. You know. Like for Farm Sim 19, I figured that would have been when we'd see a new crop, but uh, hey, I'm not complaining. I like new crops. They may have to start releasing new crops that way because there's so many more that we are not utilizing in this game. I mean, you think about all the food in the world. Think about it. Peanuts, peas, uh, other types of beans, and there's many other types. Um, you've got rice, you've got cotton, you've got... Uh, grapes like grape vineyards and stuff like that you've got um, gosh where do you I mean carrots and and you know uh, squash and you know all kinds of different things that you can do they're just not utilized so far so this game I mean it will continually keep expanding just because there's so many different types of foods and stuff out there and it's not just foods like I said there's cotton and stuff like that that you can that you can utilize you can sell that like at the spinnery you can sell the cotton cotton at the spinnery if you wanted to or a cotton gin have that as a sale point um, I think cotton would be a good uh, a good one in there because and all the all the different types of stuff you get different types of equipment like cotton harvesters and if you did like a grape vineyard um, or a winery or something like that you'd have a special harvester for that all kinds of possibilities there are no limits so uh, looking forward to it all right we haven't got the maximum bail message yet so hopefully we can at least get this field done and maybe that one over there And I'm not crossing the road. These look in line, but I'm not crossing the road because I really don't want to accidentally dump a bale in the road. Because that's something that I would do. I don't want to do that. So. But this will be good. We'll have enough hay bales and straw bales for the cows. We still got a few hay bales down there to pick up down in 17 and 21. And I probably need to go ahead and get those northern fields planted. They are empty. Probably need to plant some uh, corn up there and some maybe some soybeans for the pigs. 
We've been feeding them pigs. They are eating, well, like pigs, I guess. Uh, it would be the best way to say it. Uh, they take so much corn. I've got, I've got. To, I may have to sell some pigs. I may have to get back down and may have to sell them because they're taking so much to feed now. And I forget how many I have. I think I have like 800 and something. But, I mean, they took almost, I think they took almost two loads. Let me check real quick. I'm going to stop. Get to the animals. Where are they at? There they are. See, I still got to get them straw and water too. And, um, ooh, looks like the sheep are out. I'm going to have to feed the sheep too. Uh, cows are okay right now. They need some water. But, uh, look at how much. They took 104,000 liters of wheat and barley and 202,000 liters of corn. That is insane. I'm going to have to sell some. How many do I have? I have 863. I'm going to have to sell some sheep. Or not sheep. I'm going to have to sell some, uh, pigs in the future. Oh, there's the message. We stopped right on it, didn't we? So we've got too many bales. So some of these we're going to have to sell. I'm going to shut this off and lift it up. We'll go ahead and eject what we have. If you have too many bales, it makes the game lag, so I understand what they, where they're coming from. But let me tab down. Yeah, see how these pigs are messy? Let me dump this in there and try to clean this up a little bit. I almost need, with this many pigs, you almost need a wheel loader with a big shovel on it. And I'm thinking I'm going to invest in one soon for these pigs, if I'm going to have this many. I like the production rate. I like because, you know, the more you have and the, the more you keep them up, the, they have a high production rate. So... of this up here and in two seconds they'll have more out there so you almost need a, a somebody that's constantly working with the sheep to keep them clean and keep them fed Got them clean. That's as clean as you're gonna see it, cause they'll uh, they'll be shoving that out there real quick. All right, now I'll get them some straw and uh, some water here in, here in a little bit. But we need to get these bales picked up. Where's my mowing thing? I'm gonna use that tractor. There it is. And there's the bale pickup right beside it. How convenient. Let me grab that front weight. I think I need that. This is the one for the New Holland, but I'm just going to borrow it. Alright. Probably should have gone the other way, but... Oh, well. Best part is we can go 82 with this tractor. these kind of turf tires on it. Yeah, I'm gonna blow the stop signs. We're in a hurry to pick up our bales here. Don't think we'll get up to 82 with this trailer. We might, but I don't think so. Well, we've gotten up to 60. I 
you know, I think it very well could get up that high. So we're gonna, we're not gonna test that out. We're gonna get our bells picked up here. And get them down to the cows. And I may start keeping these in the shed down there just to get into the practice of keeping them out of the rain and the weather. Because you don't wanna you don't wanna store your bales outside in the elements. So I may put them in the shed. Two more. All right, we're at the max, so we're going to run these down to the cows down there. A little in-cab driving. This is the Voltra. There's our rear steering wheel. Oh, we got a fire extinguisher in here. I've never noticed that. So if the bales catch on fire, I guess we can attempt to put them out. Have you guys ever seen a straw bale on fire? They are almost impossible to put out. You never can get them out. Because they burn, they get down in there and they start burning kind of from the inside. And uh, they're so layered that uh, you just, it's, it's, I mean, it's just impossible to put them out. Unless you smother them somehow. North proof. I probably should have took this road. Doing all kinds of backwards here. You know, and I don't think there's a little drive that goes up over this either. I have to go up on the curb. Yeah, I'm going to use these bales up out here, and I think I'm going to put these bales in here, if I can fit them in here. May have to get another equipment shed to park equipment in or something, but... First, let's see if I can fit them in there. The thing is, is that the angle of the roof goes back so much that it makes it impo almost impossible to get them all in there, I think. Once we just dump them in there. Tell you what, I may just put these in the front and then later. Yeah, so you, you can't get them all the way in there. I may just, I'm just going to put them in the front here kind of like that. And uh, I'll come back with some uh, forks and stack them up in there. Alright. So we can take this on back to the... Hey, Bessie. Alright, we'll head back down here and we'll keep on bailing, guys, and uh, try to get our bales in the shed there, and uh, we'll come back. I'm going to check on our, uh, on our, um, what do you call those, poplar saplings the, for the wood chips up there in field 10. I'm going to check on those next time, and then we've got to get up there and, and uh, harvest field 1 and 6. I think they are ready to go, so we'll keep on uh, picking up the bales here. Oh, look out, Bronco. That's got to be OJ in that, pushing me. All right. 
we're going to keep on picking up the bales and um, try to get them organized. Don't know how well that plan is going to work out, but uh, we'll keep picking them up and uh, keep on going. So until next time, remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Grain Arcade. We'll see you guys later.